Old Man here, and by now you've heard about the devastation of Hurricane Helena. I'm going to try to do my part to help my fellow North Carolinians, and that story is coming right up. Let me give you a little preface and background of how I got to this point. We were actually in Anna Marie Island, Florida, the week the hurricane came in and hit Florida on the Gulf Coast. And we got there the Friday prior, had a great time, and by Tuesday we received an evacuation notice for the island because of the impending hurricane, Helena. We were scheduled to stay there till Thursday, but we got out a day early, 24 hours before the hurricane hit. So we left on Wednesday morning, made our way to our planned trip to Savannah a day early, got the hotel room, but that's a whole nother different story. Anyways, uh, we were watching live updates of the hurricane hit and the aftermath of everything that followed. We finally made it home on this past Saturday, just, say today's Thursday, just five days ago, and started following all the updates of the path that the hurricane took and realized the path that it was intended to take did not happen and it went straight up through North Carolina and just devastated the Boone area, the Asheville area, the surrounding counties, just absolutely terrible. And we were sitting here thinking, man, we missed this by 24 hours and got to thinking, what can we do to really help our fellow North Carolinians or anyone in need for that matter? I didn't want to go the money route. I wanted to actually do something physical and uh, help wherever I can. So I started looking online and trying to find groups to join and finally landed on a group uh, that are going to help some folks in Lenore. So how did I get to that point? Well, interesting story on that is I actually sold some logging boots that I had that were too small for me. They're actually too narrow and I ended up buying another pair. So this pair that I sold on Facebook Marketplace uh, the guy asked, hey, I need these boots. They're, they look really good for what I need. I need them this weekend. And in my conversations back and forth with him, I realized that uh, he was going to be going heading up to the mountains to help with relief efforts. So I gave him a pretty good discount on the boots. I said, hey, since you're going to help your fellow man, just pay me this X amount for these boots. And uh, he was very appreciative. So we met up. And we talked a little more, and I said, hey, I've been looking to uh, assist where I can. I signed up for a bunch of groups online, haven't gotten any responses back. And he said, yeah, we are uh, going to meet at a church in Lenore with his church group, and we are going to be uh, doing what we can wherever we're needed. So I said, well, I'm interested, and I told him about my little side business, Lumberjack Rob here and uh, what I do on the, as a side gig taking down trees and lo and behold early this morning I got an email from him saying that they'd love to have me up in Lenore to help out this upcoming weekend which would be let's see today is October 3rd so 4th 5th and 6th which would be Saturday and Sunday possibly and they gave me the instructions, they gave me the list of items that they're going to need, and obviously on that list was all chainsaw equipment, crowbars, axes, uh, everything related to tree removal and, uh, and debris removal, which is right up my alley. So uh, it's been weighing on me for a couple of days here of how I could help, so that's where I am. and. What we are going to do now is we are going to load up the truck over the next day or so. I just ordered some extra chains for my chainsaw uh, on Amazon. That'll be here tomorrow. I got some more bar oil. Uh, I know a lot of these places are running out of it. And 
I'm about to get some more gas so I can have enough gas uh, for uh, the chainsaws to run. And we're going to load up. I'm going to pack up an overnight bag in case I have to sleep in the back of my truck. And I'm going to do what I can for my fellow man here and volunteer to help out with the mountains. Here's that story. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be packing up the back of the truck and heading up to the mountains of Lenore and see what I can do to do my part to, to help out wherever I can. I've got a tonneau cover now on the back of the truck, which is going to cover all my gear, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to get a truck wash now because the inside has got sand and just a bunch of debris in it from hunting and all my other stuff so we're going to get all that cleaned out and then what I'm going to eventually do here is I'll pack an overnight bag and if I have to sleep on the back of the truck I will and there's my tonneau cover it looks great but essentially what I'm going to be doing here is not only documenting this journey and I think it's going to be fantastic is we're going to load up just about all of my gear into the bed of the truck that includes the trusty, dusty 620PW. Uh, I'll probably bring the electric one, definitely the top handle one. Um, bar oil, uh, motor oil for the gas oil mixture, my saw. I may even try to plug this into the back of my truck because I got an outlet there and see if it will run while the engine is running off the truck. I don't know if it's got enough amperage to do that, but uh, chain sharpener. And just all my gear here. I've got the cant hook here. That's going to be handy. I've got a couple of axes. Uh, everything that is on the list for them uh, to help out with uh, is going to be great. I've got a couple of sledgehammers. I'll bring those. I'm going to sharpen up all the chains I have here with the exception of the 27 inch. But I've got the 24. I've got a 16 and a 14 for uh, the chains here. Actually, I think this is a 12. Anywho, we're going to do all that and load it up. And then I'm going to do my part to help my fellow man and uh, go from there. So stay tuned. So anywho, that's the plan. And I'm hoping just to help out those in need up there. I know it's devastating. I don't know what I'm going to run into, but this is going to be the start of it. And hope you follow along. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, anything like that, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for looking. So wish me luck, and we will see you in the next video. Until next time, folks, peace out.